here let us discuss about rejects parser so usually we come across files that are ill formatted right a uh, files which are having several columns of data and that data might be merged into single column so here in the image you can see that so these are actually different columns but now see this is lc this is one column in the data set assume like that and this is another column which is having numerical values and all these are again different classes so like that so several columns of data is merged into single column so in that case what happens so you can't just feed such badly formatted data text data into dashboards or we can't even provide this data for training to machines so at this time we usually wish to parse the data using the delimiter but sometimes we come across data that doesn't have a delimiter at all so assume a case where the number of records is less uh, say suppose 10 to 20 and you might be cleaning it manually but for tables having huge data it is not going to be feasible at all right so here in this image we are just having a few records so 63 to 71 so somewhat we can clean it manually whereas if the data is very huge then in that case it's not possible to do everything manually so this is a place where we need re re rejects or regular expressions and here uh, i was really amazed to see how it helps the data professionals to ease a lot of their text processing capabilities so let us see the concept first so text processing means so how it will ease text processing so here text processing is nothing but it's an automated process of penalizing and arranging unstructured text data in order to gain gain valuable insights so with applications in wide ranging areas across a multitude of industries it helps to scrape out valuable chunks of information from the noise so if you take this rejects parser or if you take rejects or regular expressions so we can say that this is the most powerful way of manipulating the string data so regular expressions is a string of text that allows the end users to create patterns that help match locate and manage the text so it can even be used across different programming languages and tools in order to add remove isolate and manipulate all kinds of text and data so we can simply say that rejects parser is used to match the patterns and extract text so how it will do that it will scan the larger text or document which is having more number of substrings which match a particular regular expression pattern and it is used in now uh, applications like text processing just now we saw what is text processing and information retrievals retrieval tasks if you take this example create np chunker first so in this grammar assume that the given sentence is the little yellow dog barked at the cat so whenever a sentence is given to you first you need to generate tokens from that and you need to assign respective tags also for every token so here the is determiner little is adjective yellow is adjective dog is adjective like that we need to divide words in the given sentence and we need to assign respective tags for the words and this is a grammar which we considered so as we all know noun phrase is nothing but it's a collection of determiner adjective and noun so here we consider determiner any number of adjectives so star indicates zero or more occurrences of that particular tag and 
then we have noun so uh, here you can see in order to create np chunk first we need to define chunk grammar so this is a grammar which we defined and it consists of rules which indicate how sentences should be chunked. So, this is a rule for chunking or for dividing the words into multiple or for dividing the sentence into multiple chunks or phrases. So, we'll define a simple grammar with a single regular expression rule. So, this is a single expression rule. And now, this rule it says that NP chunk should be formed whenever the chunks find an optimal determiner. So, whenever chunk contains determiner followed by any number of adjectives. So, this indicates any number of adjectives and then noun phrase or noun. So, using this grammar, we can create a chunk parser. So, here we are creating chunk parser by passing this grammar as parameter to the reg regular expression parser or rejects parser. So, we are creating chunk parser and you can even test it on the considered example. So, here we are taking the sentence which we considered before in order to test the chunk parser. So, finally, you can print the result. So, let us uh, see the result for this. So, you will get results something, something like this. So, if you see this, the little yellow dog. So, the is determiner, little is determiner, sorry, little is adjective, yellow is adjective and dog is noun. So, all of them, they comes under noun phrase right then so this is considered as one chunk so we are dividing the sentence into chunks then bark so there is no verb in the sentence so here bark is considered as a separate node and at the same time so this is one partition or one phrase then or uh, at at is a interjunction so even that is not existing anywhere. So, that is taken as a separate node. And again, the cat. So, the is determiner and cat is noun. So, this is one more chunk. So, in this way, we are creating multiple chunks according to the given grammar. So, you can see S is a start node and we have different uh, we created different chunks or phrases like noun phrase, then verb. So, here we have interjunction and then noun phrase. And the words which comes under this noun phrase are the little yellow dog. So, along with the tags we need to give and barked is verb at is interjunction and the last two words the is determiner and cat is noun. So, since this tree it, it can even be represented like this. So, S is a start node again. So, here you can see it is represented as four different chunks. So, this first chunk it, it indicates this part, left part of the tree. And this bark it represents a second node. And at it indicates third node. And the last one is NP. So, that indicates last node in the tree. Okay, fine. So, you can even write output in this way as well as we can generate parse tree if the grammar is having only single rule. What if, or what if a grammar is having more than one rule? So, in that case, again, we need to check everything. So, if you take the second example, here you can see this grammar is having multiple rules, right? So, first we have noun phrase, preposition, verb, preposition, right? Then, so this is preposition noun. PP, it gives you preposition noun phrase. 
then we have verb phrase so verb phrase means verb followed by any any other combination of phrases like it can be noun phrase or preposition phrase again there can be zero or one occurrence of that phrase so let us take the sentence as mr obama played a big role in the health insurance bill so that is the sentence what is our first row first task here first we need to divide the sentence into multiple tokens so we already know how to generate tokens right so after uh, generating tokens we need to assign respective tag to that token that is step one so that becomes your sentence and you need to pass this grammar just like how we did before in example one. So you need to pass this grammar as parameter to rejects the uh, parser. And then we need to create chunk parser. You need to test it on, on our example or on our, uh, you can test it on our sentence. So here we are creating chunk parser. And then here we are passing our sentence with tokens and respective tags to this as parameter and generate the result. So this is quite simple, but you need to apply these rules. So that is the important thing here. Okay. So first, again, there are two ways of representing the output here, one with the help of parse tree and so you can even represent it in this form. So if you take this one. So Mr. Obama played. Okay. So Mr. Obama. So first check this grammar. So here Mr. is noun phrase. Obama is also noun phrase. Right. So here in this case you can see. As both of them are noun phrase. You can just write this as noun phrase also. Okay, you can write it as noun phrase and within that you can write Mr. NNP, then Obama NNP. You can write it separately or you, you can even write it as a single node. And then, so as both the tags are same, you can divide it like this. This is a noun phrase. So you can have any number of nouns, right? So this represents noun phrase. So next we have verb phrase. So verb phrase means according to the rule 5 in the grammar, it represents verb followed by you can have noun phrase or preposition phrase. So you need to take this word or this token played. So verb is over and then you need to concentrate on this part. So noun, noun phrase. Noun phrase, it represents a big role. Right? So here you can see. So first we got verb wow, wow phrase. Now we are dividing that into noun phrase. So again in noun phrase, you can see determiner, adjective, any number of adjectives and any number of nouns. So here in this noun phrase, so this is completely noun phrase. Within this we have determiner, adjectives, adjective and noun. So that becomes next phrase. And in the tree next we have preposition phrase. So if you take this preposition phrase we have preposition followed by noun phrase so check that in the sentence so we have preposition and this is determiner so is this is again noun phrase so this is the third chunk in this sentence or third phrase in this sentence then nnp so again it becomes single phrase Next. So this NNP it is not existing anywhere here. So we can 
take it as a single word next insurance bill so insurance means it again comes under noun phrase right so noun phrase is can have any number of nouns so we are having two nouns in this sentence so they can be considered as noun phrase so like this we have total so this is noun phrase this is noun phrase again or you can see this one is verb phrase together so this is verb phrase next this part preposition followed by noun phrase so that gives you preposition phrase according to rule 4 and this is nnp it is not there anywhere in this grammar and the last one is noun phrase so here we got total 1 2 3 4 5 6 notes so in this this is 1 this is verb so this is 2 3 4 5 6 total 6 notes and and this can even be represented in this way so you can write it as s is a start note and here mr and obama so both of them they represent so the tag which is given for both of them is nnp whereas next we have verb phrase so verb phrase is a separate node and within that we have three phases one is verb phrase and in verb phrase we have played which is represented with vbd next we have noun phrase again which is represented with a uh, uh, which is determiner big that is adjective and role it is noun next we have third one is preposition phrase uh, that can be represented as in with the tag p and then np with the and determiner and third one is so this comes under one part so third one is health so that is represented as separate node and fourth one is np which is represented as separate node which is having insurance noun and bill noun two child notes so you can even write the same thing in this way also so if you take this yes so we are drawing tree here so s is a start node and in this again we are creating nodes internal nodes so again wherever we create the internal node that can be written as tree and within that we have mr obama and after that again we are creating one more node so write it represent it as tree and within this we need to create verb phrase so that is a verb phrase and again these are this verb phrase is having child nodes as v n p and p so this v should be written as tree v and the nodes or child node for this v is played vbd tag then coming to the second one within this vp so again we are creating node so that is written as tree and we use np tag noun phrase and within this what are the child nodes or words which comes under this phrase a big role so this is over so you need to close this part So NP it starts here and you need to end it here. Played. Played it started here and you need to end this. From here to this place. And third one again we are creating node. So that is tree and the phrase is prepositional phrase. 
and within this we are having two child nodes so in represented with p the represented with determiner then again you need to close it here so this is a close tag for this and you need to check these uh, tags sorry you need to check these braces properly and for this verb phrase verb phrase end at this point so for this open this is a closed one next again move to this one again we are creating node that is tree and the word is help which is represented with nnp next fourth one is node again np that is represented with np here yes words are insurance noun bill noun so opening for this is at this place so you need to close it here and for this we are using this and we opened the main tree here so you need to close it with this and for this brace last brace is this one so here in this way also you can represent the output for the given sentence 